Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about something really practical but also really important for adhesive dentistry. The use of chlorhexidine to disinfect dentin and um, to stabilize the adhesive interface. So let's start with the why. When you etch dentin, whether it's total etch or like even just a mild self etch, you expose the collagen network. And that etching step uh, doesn't just remove minerals, it also activates enzymes that are already inside the dentin, like matrix metalloproteinases or MMPs and cysteine cathepsins. And what happens then? Well, over time, those enzymes slowly chew up the hybrid layer. And that's um, one of the main reasons we see bond strength drop after months or years. Now, chlorhexidine, something we usually think of as, you know, just an antimicrobial rinse, actually plays a second role here. It's been shown to block those dentin enzymes, stopping them from breaking down the collagen. Mechanistically, um, it binds to sites on the enzyme and removes the calcium and zinc ions they need to work. So in practice, it's not just disinfecting, it's also protecting that collagen scaffold. All right, but does it actually work? Mm, yeah. Studies, uh, both lab and clinical, show that using anywhere between 0.2% and 2% chlorhexidine after etching really slows down bond degradation. In etch and rinse systems, immediate bond strength usually stays the same and long term, like six months, a year later, it's much better compared to not using chlorhexidine. In self-etch systems, there can be a small drop at the start, but the bond still holds up better over time. So, um, the durability effect is the big headline. Okay, let's go step by step. In an etch and rinse protocol, first you etch enamel with 35 to 37 percent phosphoric acid for like 15 to 30 seconds and dentin for about 15 seconds, then rinse well. At this point, uh, keep the dentin moist, don't over dry. Second, apply chlorhexidine 0.2 to 2 percent solution, leave it for about 60 seconds. Then gently air dry to remove the extra liquid, but um, don't rinse with water because you'll wash away the effect. Finally, apply your primer and adhesive exactly the way the manufacturer says. With self-etch or selective etch, it's basically the same idea. If you selectively etch enamel first, rinse and keep your dentin moist, then you can apply chlorhexidine on the dentin, wait a minute, gently air dry, don't rinse, and then um, apply your self-etch or universal adhesive. Now, a few practical tips. Aim for about 2% chlorhexidine for one minute. That's what most studies use when they see better bond durability. Keep dentin just a little moist before adhesive. If you dry it too much, the collagen collapses and you lose infiltration. Don't flood the cavity with chlorhexidine. Just a thin application is enough. And uh, avoid rinsing after chlorhexidine. Apply the adhesive soon after so it seals everything in. If you're using a universal adhesive in self-etch mode, and you see a small immediate drop in bond, check your timing and solvent evaporation, or maybe just use chlorhexidine mainly with your etch and rinse protocol. So um, to wrap it up, bond breakdown is mostly enzymatic and chlorhexidine gives you a simple way to stop that. By adding a quick 60 second step, you're making your restorations last longer with almost no extra effort or cost. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, I hope this gave you a clearer picture of not just how to use chlorhexidine, but why it matters so much in adhesive dentistry. See you next time.